Hi guys, about a year ago I bought the DaVinci Mini Maker and while its hardware is not that bad it really has two major drawbacks. One is the use of proprietary filament and the other is that you are forced to use XYZ wear, which is kind of a piece of crap. So in this video we'll explore how to use a different slicer with Mini Maker. So let's dive right in. First things first, you have to load an STL file in your favorite slicing software. I'm using Slicer, but you can use any other. Here's a half of a hexaspheric one I made recently. You just slice your uh, object and you export the G code file. The next thing, once you're done, the next thing you'll have to do is you'll have to install the mini mover. It's this program. Uh, big shout out to David Tucker who made the program the link to the file will be in the description below but you'll have to uh, register to, to the site in order to be able to download it and the current version I believe is 0 0.9 so apparently you should be able to print from this file uh, sorry from this program directly I just couldn't figure it out and I didn't uh, feel like spending any time it works just fine by converting the file. So here on the in the target window you select your printer which is Minimaker in my case and you click convert file then uh, you open the g-code you saved earlier in your slicing software click open you select the name of the file you want I just leave it the same Click save, then you fire up the XYZ wire, and that's the only thing we will need it for. Just input. Oh, sorry. So open it, and it will print it. Oh, sorry, it will import the file. So here it is with all the settings from the slicer. You just click print and it will say slicing done and that's it one more thing uh, it says here that uh, it's uh, zero the estimated usage is zero meters now that doesn't somehow solve uh, magically the NFC chip problem because uh, your overall uh, capacity will be subtracted by the amount you use so that's it you just hit print and you print the thing uh, hope you liked the video if you liked click the like button and we'll see you in another video